Before the 2011 Egyptian Revolution, tourism generated over 12 million US dollars annually for Egypt. However, visitor numbers have since dropped by almost 40%, with many travellers unsure if it is now safe. At Helsinki's recent Matka Nordic Travel Fair, the biggest in Northern Europe, the ambassador of Egypt in Finland explained how his country is getting back to business. As you know, now we are at the, about to, to complete our roadmap. By uh, next March, we will have the uh, general elections. So we are now back to business, back to normal. So uh, and for the security, I think we haven't faced any troubles in the, uh, the tourism destinations for the last three years. I mean, in, either in Sinai, in Sharm el and Urgada, as you, if you follow what's going on there, there is nothing happened. Egypt is most famous for the pyramids, the Great Sphinx at Giza, and the River Nile. But there is plenty more for tourists to enjoy. We have a sun, we have the diving facilities, we have the history as well in Cairo, Luxor, Aswan. So we have all types of uh, tourism destinations. So our friends, they are very much interested. With the number of tourists annually arriving in Egypt dropped by 10 million since 2010, Egyptians recognize the value of each and every visitor. In our culture, we believe that our guests should be honored and secured. That's why every citizen in Egypt believes that a tourist is, is a valuable for us and he should secure him and he should honor him as well. Over the past 50 years, Egypt has enjoyed good relations with China and they are hoping that this will attract an increasing number of Chinese tourists. We are one of the first countries to recognize China, Bank of China, to establish their relations since 1956. China is a friendly country. Our president was there last month, as I told you before recording, and uh, that we signed about 30 agreements. One of them, the cooperation in the field of tourism. Now we are looking for uh, Chinese tourists to come to Egypt. We are targeting maybe in a couple of years, we could reach 3 million tourists to come to Egypt. We are planning for that. We hope it could happen. And we are welcoming as well the Chinese investors to come at the, in the field of tourism as well. With more positive appearances at travel fairs like Matka, restoring confidence in the country, Egypt will soon see an increase in visitor numbers and perhaps a return to the tourism success of pre-2011.